Hello and welcome, Paul here, and I am playing Anno Domino 1257. Now I'm currently trying to make some money. And we're in between two tournaments currently going on. I'm going to let a bit of time pass. And hopefully re-enter in this tournament. Oh snap, I just realised this is a new year. <laughs> January the 1st. Very nice. Still can't join in on this place. Let's just wait until it goes late afternoon. Nope, tournament's over, goddammit. Alright, in that case we need to make our way back to the other tournament that was going on, which was this place. Morale is low, never a good thing, we're gonna have to deal with that. Tournament's still on though, I will enter in it now. Place a bet on myself, because we're gonna earn big. Let's go bash some skulls. So yeah, the way to do this is we take out that horse if it looks like I'm not going to win. My problem is, is that my microphone is like right in front of where, like it's in the centre of my screen, so I can never really see when I do this. That's just so we don't like you know, stab us. Come back. Yes, that's it. Stay stuck. We just gotta wait for him now. Get those cheeky hits in every time he swings on by. on their shield. Ah, oh, the winner. Got him. When two horses collide. Oh, goddamn. Robert is on five wins. I can't lose anymore. Can't lose anymore. Okay, we're even now. I've got to win this next one. Oh, I'm too scared. I took out his horse instead. I was too scared. I didn't want to risk it. Got him. Oh, we're still at even. I won the tournament anyway and won me some money. Good stuff. Good stuff. So we're just going to wait here, a little bit of time pass, see if I can re-enter the tournament to make a bit more cash. Now these French are going to hate me, you know, we've been fighting them already. 
that they've probably bested me more than once. Just wait a little bit of time. Still can't do anything, we'll wait for the next day. Oh, that was Rob. Okay, this is Robert's tournament. Okay, what about now? No. <laughs> the guy that owns this castle that's hosting this feast was the guy who was winning the tournament until I came in. We drew, but it said I won it, so... Oh, I thought... Oh, Edinburgh's not Edinburgh Castle. Personally, I'd have gone with, you know, regular Edinburgh, but... but... How long till these guys declare war against us? Or vice versa, I wonder. I feel like it's gonna happen. I just got that inkling. My spidey sense is going off the charts. But, uh. Alright, let's leave. I earned a bit of cash to replace what I've spent on getting my production stuff up. What I should do is head back to England now. I mean, yes, I've been going around tournaments to make sure I can uh, you know, make money. In fact, it makes sense just to check if there's any tournaments on the way back. Okay, here we go. Let's have a look at this. So, making money from the ironworks, Bristol, Chester, Donegal. That's all making me some money, which is nice. My rents are bringing me in cash. The tariffs are. My party is very expensive, though. But like it's all adding up and it's making me profit, which is good. So we need to keep that up. I mean, when we go to war, that's going to plummet. But for now, we can just do something to keep my money in. Then, well, that would be great. So there's a few places with tournaments nearby. We're going to check them out to see how far away they are. We're going to move on. Basically, if I zoom out and I can't see them. Let's just head back. Let's just head back. So yeah, if we fight France, I'm literally going to have to stay on our side. Like, just going after Sterling and all the other... Everyone's going to meet here. Something's going to happen. Well, not really. Nothing's going to happen, but... I guess I could go and speak to him. And get my relation up with people. How many people are defending this castle? Oh, they replaced the troops I killed. Okay. Who am I? Everyone's accompanying Sir Richard. There he is. Good, does that not get oh my relations already maxed with this dude? Nice. But it's like, you know, whatever. It's not like we're declaring war against anyone. Yet. Sword merchant. Kinda like the weapons I got are oh, weapon severely damaged. I'll have to keep an eye on it. So... Alright. Yeah, they won't let me set up an uh, enterprise. So where don't I have an enterprise then? Chester, Bristol... Donegal. No, do we have Bristol? Let me check. I do. Let's go to Glasgow then. We'll go ahead and set up enterprises in all the towns. Like, I'm, I'm thinking... Because I'm just thinking, like, this map is so big, it's, like, huge. 
we're gonna have to, you know, it's gonna be a long series this is, there's no doubt, there's just too much territory we've got to conquer. So what I'll do is go ahead and start getting my enterprises in position now, so they start earning me money on a weekly basis. Get my relation up with everyone as well. Let's see. Let's see what's going to bring us in the most money. Three, five, two. Looks like we're going with the Hatanari. And all <laughs> that dude looks so young. All I have to do is just get in, you know, a good amount of uh, prisoners to sell, and I've basically paid for one enterprise. So, you know, that's it's a good way to look at it. Okay, we'll hit Dublin first. Dublin and some other place the only ones left that I can actually put stuff in. At least in territory we own. Each one is different. So that one would give me the most, but... Silk and die for this place. It's a lot of money we drop in, but it's essentially just one tournament win or one lot of prisoners, so I'm happy to do it. At least we with 16k. We're, luckily, we've only got one more place we need to do this at. Let's have a look. Meet with the Guildmaster once again. For a week, 86. I'm basically looking for passive money, stuff that I don't have to actively do. So. This is one of the weaker ones again. I mean, it would take many, many weeks to basically cover my investments to each of these places, you know, for them to cover their own cost, but I think it'll be worth it, like 10k, but I'll get 320 a week, that's the most this place is producing, but it doesn't seem worth it at the moment. But you've got to consider, look at Floris, look how long that's taken me to conquer. Now, this place has almost double, or maybe even triple the amount of territories to take, at least it looks that way. So, you know, I think it's all going to be worth it in the end. So now we've got our stuff up here. My party is low on food, okay. Can I look at my financials? Nope, okay. I wonder, can we set up a second one? Oh wait, this is my town. Nice. Let's buy some food while we're here. Whatever's cheap. Give grain to the men. They ain't gonna be happy, I don't care. Oh, let's visit the tavern. Spice merchant. Show me your goods, good sir. Very expensive. All right, let's wait here for now. We'll see what happens. Wait, did I say tournament? Oh, no. 
This is white. I'm so worried about fighting France again. They just got so many troops. We need to fight them when they're at war with someone else. That's what we need to do. But let's have a look at it. Okay, let me leave here. Let's take a look and see if we can work this out. Factions, Kingdom of France. So basically when France goes to war with someone else, that's when we need to strike. That's when we reconquer all the land we lost. And then that's when we push, you know, we just try and hold them back. That's what we need to do. And that is what we need to do. I wonder if a town likes you a lot, you can increase their wages and they don't complain. Do you think that's how it works? I do wonder. Well, our soldiers ready to train. I don't want to upgrade them yet, though, in case they leave. Oh, morale's average for them all. We could do it. But it's just going to keep increasing my weekly cost. So we'll just... Uh, we'll hold off on that. Go meet that dude. So many factions. So, so many factions. I just need that message that France is going to war with someone. Ooh, here we go. Die works at Donegal. I guess it fluctuates. I don't know like what is included, but I'm basically making a profit now, which is good. I need London back. I want London. Tax and efficiency. We'll have to look into that. So I'll go and convince people to fight if that's what it will take. But if we fight France now, it means their entire army is going to come for us. If France go after someone else, there's a good chance we can probably sneak in there and back cap. So that's what we're waiting for. I'm trying to be smart about this. I'm trying not to rush it, you know what I mean? I've already made mistakes. But I was able to take out Wales and Scotland. Now it's a case of using that same tactic against France, but we've got to wait for the right time. I'm determined not to rush this. Determined not to mess this up, to do something stupid. You know? I've got to be smart for once. For once. I guess, like, rather than sitting here, the most logical thing to do would be to go around and knock out more tournaments, because I'm... I'm making money then. Roma, Milano. Milano always gets tournaments. I'm gonna have my popular relation there like to 100 because I keep winning tournaments. Okay, let's, let's start crossing, we'll head back that way. You never know. Because at the end of the day, if I get like, you know, a bit more cash, I can put that to good use. Oh, 
Oh yeah, we gotta take London back. I want London. I want it for my own. I'm wondering how it's gonna go when I revolt against, you know, King. I wonder what happens if I talk to my companion. We'll see. Anyway, that's it for now. Thank you for watching. Be sure to join me again next time. Until then.